are you ready so in this session we will see how we can create the jenkins pipeline with the choice parameters so we will create a jenkins parameter jobs and we will define some choice parameters there and we will see how we can access these uh, choice parameter values in the pipeline script so go to your jenkins and click on new item and select the pipeline click on okay so we can define the jenkins parameters using this option so we can add different parameters here okay and later we can see how we can add the parameters using the jenkins pipeline script itself okay so that time you don't need to use this option so let me add some choice parameters here so let's say my first parameter is environment and this environment parameter will have qa dev uat and prod values so let's add the another one so this parameter let's say platform and we can have windows linux and mac platform so let's add the browser parameter on which we want to run the automation so we are going to use this uh, jenkins parameter values in the pipeline script so go to the pipeline section so here you can add your pipeline script so we know that uh, pipeline will start with the pipeline so inside these two curly brackets we need to add our pipeline script so we can add here agent let's say in agent and we'll add the stages so inside the stages we can have multiple stages in stage 1 let's say so let's say my first stage is build okay build a stage here i have these steps so as of now i am going to print some uh, sample statement okay for better understanding let's say creating build so in this stage build stage we are going to create the build or the project so once build stage is done we need to run the automation and once automation is completed we will deploy it on some environment so once all these stages are done we can add our post block that means once pipeline is succeeded we can add here post block pipeline completed successfully and for the failure this is the failure block echo pipeline failed okay so basic example of our pipeline script so we have defined three parameters so we need to use this uh, parameters values in the pipeline script now okay so we can do that so let's say here i want to use the platform and environment values so i can use params object here so first i will give the dollar to curly bracket and inside the curly bracket use the params okay using dot operator you, you can uh, get the values for the parameters okay so i want the value for the environment parameter so you just need to copy the parameter name here dot environment so creating build say for this is environment on on which platform say again dollar okay so we will get the meaningful statement over here creating build for this environment let's say qa environment on linux platform like that so let's say in the run automation stage we are going to use the browser parameter values so same running automation on with the dollar curly bracket inside it params dot i have the browser so running automation on let's say chrome browser like that so in the deploy stage let's use the environment so deploying on some uat environment or uat server like that okay so this is a basic example very basic example how we can create the parameters using the jenkins parameterize job option and how we can use the values for those parameters in the pipeline script using the param subject okay so let's click on apply and save so this pipeline will have these three stages as we have defined one is build then running automation and then deploy 
so let's click on build with parameters so here we've got the three parameters so select the deployment environment let's say dev then platform let's say windows and on the browser let's say i want to run on firefox so just need to click on build okay so all the stages got completed within few seconds okay so once build is completed then run automation once it is done then deploy and this is the last two post actions and you can check the console output as well over here so you can see all the statement creating build for day environment on windows platform so we have successfully used the values for parameters whatever user has selected while building this project the, those values are used in the pipeline script running automation on the firefox browser and deploying on the dev server so let's say another example So no need to use this option we will directly write our pipeline okay so let me copy our pipeline from the previous project so our pipeline will be the same i will add it here so only thing is after defining the agent we will add our parameters over here <coughs> so we can do that use the parameters attribute here parameters bracket so let's say i want to define the choice parameter so i will use choice then so we need three choice parameters so i have created the three choice parameters here so whatever name or whatever values you need to provide for these parameters you can define inside these brackets so first parameter that is my environment so i will give name and my parameter name so that is my environment right then give the comma these parameters will have different values so we need to provide the choices so provide choices so choices are multiple so we need to define inside the square bracket so first choice is let's say qa comma then single quote again let's say dev okay so we need to define the choices inside the single quote separated by the comma inside the square bracket and if you want to provide the description you can provide the description over here select the deployment environment so we have defined our first parameters in the pipeline script itself so this parameter will have name environment and it will have the choices qa dev and prod and this is the description similarly i will add the next two parameters okay so click on apply and save so for the first time it will not give you option for creating the build with the parameters so first you need to build this pipeline okay so for the first time once pipeline is succeeded then this project will be converted into the parameterize jenkins job so i will click on build now so currently it is building so let's go to the console okay so pipeline is successful so if you go back so now you can see we got this option build with parameters so click on that and here you will get the parameters now okay so very small difference we have manually defined our parameters in the first example in the second example we have defined our parameters in the pipeline script itself okay so only thing is you need to build that pipeline for the first time and then we will get that those parameters click on build it will show you all the stages in detail so you can check the logs for these stages as well okay just mouse over and you can check the logs so as we have just printing the statement these stages are completed within few seconds so let me add few wait statement So let's build this pipeline again. So this time, prod Linux age. Click on build. So you can see currently build stage is getting executed. So once build is completed and successful, then it will execute the next stage that is running automation. Okay, so this is very important in the your real time projects. And useful in the automation interviews as well.